Hey, yeah, uh, in this one on Liberty video, I'm going to introduce another one of the seven weapons, the Wand. This video contains a detailed description of how to use your weapon, all of its skills, and of course, some recommended combinations. Shield of Chaos, a defensive counter attack. It seems every class in this game has a defensive counter attack if you time it correctly against a melee attack. A touch of despair will be applied on the target, that is uh, a single cursed damage over time, and if you time it against a range attack, it will also recover the stamina of the whole party. Touch of Despair is also a skill, single target damage that applies a curse to your target, doing damage over time. You can also use it while the target is asleep and it doesn't wake him up. Curse Explosion, I believe the name says it all. You can use this skill to a curse target and immediately all his curses will disappear and he will suffer the damage from the curses instantly. Rapid Healing, a single target uh, heal that heals uh, friendly objects. Rot Magic Gene, curse all enemies within range, applies uh, despair to everyone in range. Recipe of Nightmares, reduces movement speed, attack speed and also uh, sleeps the target. The target will be awake when damage will be received. Salvation of Clay, please future guildmate, play Wand. Healing or party within range. Time of Retrogression, another super important skill, is a single target curse that reduces uh, the skill damage resistance of the target. So basically, all your party member will be able to do more damage. The Bond of Grace is a single target buff. Also, it took me a while to understand exactly the skill. Uh, the skill increases defense and skill recovery during the day, and the effect can reach up to three times if you use it at night but slowly. Haze of Weak Smoke is an area of effect spell that can spread up to 3 curses to nearby targets. Ray of G Young, this is what we are talking about man. All enemies within range will take damage, the skill does not wake up the target and if you move, the skill stops. That was all for the actives of the wand, now let's move on to the passives. This time, for time efficiency, I will put the translation in the screen and you can pause to read what the every skill does. Moving on to recommended weapon combinations, wand and staff, retrogression for more damage from all sources, slips the target, he is to spread the curses to nearby targets, the nearby target gets slept and weakness from the retrogression, begins a meter that ignites the field and on top of that heat wave that does more damage to ignited targets. Really interesting also with crossbow, begin with the regression for more damage, leaves the target, putting the buffs from the crossbow doesn't also wake up the target and ray to burn the target without even waking him up. That was all for the wand, really really interesting weapon choice. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, see ya!